Hello, for those of you who have not met me before, my name is Art Reed. I am teaching John Saxon's uh, books, Algebra Half, Algebra One, Algebra Two, through Advanced Math, or as we call it, the Green Book, through to Calculus. I want to tell you, as, as a parent and a home educator, why it is important that you use the Saxon Advanced Mathematics textbook in three or four semesters. Now when John first wrote his book, he titled it Geometry, Trigonometry, Algebra. And it began to be known as the GTA book and was confusing to many educators, so he changed the name in mid-85 to the Advanced Mathematics textbook. Now I will tell you, if you put advanced mathematics on your transcript, when your son or daughter goes to a university or college, they're going to ask you to explain what advanced mathematics is, because they're so used to seeing words like algebra one, algebra two, geometry, trigonometry, precalculus, and calculus. They understand what these are. They have no idea what advanced mathematics is. And so there is a danger, whether you take the book in one year, three semesters, or four semesters, you have to come up with some rational titles. Now, when John put the book together, he had been overseas as a military uh, pilot. He'd been around the world. And as I have, you will notice that we're one of the few, in fact, the only that I know of, the only industrial nation in the world that still puts all of their math in neat little pockets. When you get an exchange student at your high school, he comes with one book. If he comes from Europe, he comes with a title of a book called Mathematics or Mathematica. And it's got in there trig, geometry, calculus. It's all in one textbook. We separate them. And so John tried to put algebra in, as we say, the geometric plane and geometry in the algebraic plane. Now, 102 years ago, four professors from the University of Chicago, University of Chicago, who taught mathematics and some of them taught astronomy, and I, I think one or two of them taught some, taught some science courses. They told the educators that they were making a mistake placing a geometry book in between Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. That the student coming out of the basic Algebra 1 course and then thrown into a totally different environment called geometry would forget the basics of algebra some 15 months later a year and two summers when he walked into the algebra course, advanced algebra. And so they designed a book 102 years ago that was a supplement to geometry, just like John's books in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and the Green Book. But the problem with the Green Book is that John didn't write it in two textbooks, he wrote it in one. And it contains the second semester of geometry, Algebra 2 contains the first semester. It contains heavy-duty trigonometry, discrete mathematics, which some people call pre-calculus. And so when I taught the book, when I was at the high school level, I called John one day and I said, John, my A and B students are getting C's. What's going on? He says, well, are you doing a lesson a day? I said, yeah. He said, well, don't. In the first 40 lessons, there are 100 concepts. And so you say, well, why didn't he write two books? Well, he was probably thinking of your pocketbook. Two books would have cost twice as much. But he gave you the advantage of picking the scenario that you wanted. If you have a child who, for some reason, unbeknownst to John, could do the book in one year, could handle the heavy-duty math that comes at you uh, like a machine gun, then fine. One year is fine. But most children, most students that I've encountered need two years. And so I broke the book when I taught math into two-year course. The first year, and this is the way I'm making my DVDs, the first year I'm going to cover lessons 1 through 90. I'm going to recommend that the child take two days to do one lesson. That he do the odd problems one day and the even problems the second day. And he will take a test about every other week that way. But he will see both concepts of the two problems. If you recall, Saxon has pairs of two, uh, uh, two different uh, versions of the same concept. He'll do the odds one day and the evens the next. So he'll get all the concepts he's supposed to every day. By the same token, he's not going to spend three or four hours a night on his homework. 
by breaking it up into 15 and 15, he's going to spend about an hour, hour and 10 minutes on his homework, which is more reasonable. The second book, oh, by the way, this one's going to be titled Geometry with Advanced Algebra. The second book will start with Lesson 60 and go through Lesson 125 and add the first 25 lessons of calculus, which will take you through derivatives in the calculus book. The title of that course will be Trigonometry with Precalculus. Now why are we repeating lessons 60 through 90? Remember I told you there were about 100 concepts in the first 40 lessons. Many of them are trigonometry, but most of them are geometry. And so in the first 60 lessons, you cover your second semester of geometry. You also cover some trigonometry, but you really cover the heavy-duty trigonometry between lessons 60 and 90. You encounter half and double angle identities. Of those 30 lessons, more than 50% of them involve trigonometry and trigonometric functions. Okay? And so the student is really, the first exercise in, that he encounters them, you know, in the first uh, a year, he kind of knows about them, but he hasn't mastered them. And so when he comes back the second year and he steps back and he does them a second time, he owns them. He's going to do a lot better in them. And he can move ahead through uh, 90 through the end of the book. Now, a lesson every two days means that in a 180-day school year, you can get 90 lessons. And so if, you've, if you start at 60 and go to 125, that's only 65 lessons. And so I'm going to add the 25 lessons of calculus, which will give him 90 lessons in the first book, geometry and advanced algebra and 90 lessons in the second book, trigonometry and precalculus. You'll get a full year's credit for geometry with advanced algebra. You'll get a semester's credit of trigonometry and a semester's credit of precalculus. And the student will be in much better shape. Now, some of the parents have told me, but I want my child to be in calculus their senior year. Well, if that's the case, then they have to be in algebra two their freshman year. They're what I call fast trackers. But a child does not need to have calculus to be successful in collegiate mathematics. Calculus in high school is a preparatory course to the calculus he'll receive in college. As I told my students, even those who finished the Saxon Calculus book their senior year, I advise them to take Calc 1, 2, and 3 at the university level for their benefit. If nothing else, I told them you could make money tutoring your friends in Calc 1 because you already know most of it. So that's how we're going to teach the book. And I hope that this has been informative to you. But John knew that geometry taken as a separate subject was dangerous just as these professors did 102 years ago. And I know John would have loved to have known about that book. I just found out about it recently. John didn't know about it or I would have heard about it from him. But I think you'll find out that your sons and daughters will go further in mathematics by using this two-year concept in the advanced math book as opposed to trying to do it all in one year. But if you have a child who can do it in one year, certainly let them drive themselves, okay? It's been nice talking to you. We'll see you.